morning internet and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. I'm just on a treadmill finishing up my workout for the day. And uh, then I'm gonna head off. It's a little cold outside, 40 degrees. So side workout inside. Today I'm gonna go to the University of Mississippi and uh, check out the campus for a little bit. And then I'm going to head west and uh, we'll see where I go. I'm off to the University of Mississippi right now. I'm gonna go check out campus, and then uh, I'm gonna take back roads, and we're gonna head west towards Bisbee, Arizona. Like 1,400 miles, but I'm only gonna go 400 miles today, 350. I'm not really sure how many miles I'm gonna go. But, my God, it's a beautiful day. Sun is out. It's awesome. On the University of Mississippi's campus. A lot of roads are blocked off on campus. They don't allow really cars. Stadium right here. Home of the Mississippi Rebels. Turn. Well, you'll know there, there's three Mannings. There's Archie Manning, the father who played for the Saints, who went to University of Mississippi. His son Peyton went to the University of Tennessee. And then there was Eli, who went to the University of Mississippi. Eli played for the Giants and they won two Super Bowls. And you have Peyton won two Super Bowls with two different teams. So who's the best quarterback? I'm gonna say that it was Eli Manning was the best quarterback. Why? Because he went from a hard market. New York is a hard place to, to work. If you aren't doing phenomenal, everybody hates you. So. He has quite the personality, and I think he's uh, quite a good football player. So, good job, Eli. Now I'm off. These are all cotton fields that were harvested. All the cotton is in these yellow bales that are up there right now. It's pretty awesome looking. It said it was the Mississippi Delta area. That means the Mississippi River must be around here. And if you notice, this road is built up higher than the actual ground around it. So this area must flood a lot. All right, you ready? Yeah, so I'm with Bubba Chandler, yeah. right? And Byron. Byron. And we're at the Chin. North Delta Chin. North Delta Chin. And you guys take off. What do you do here? We take the round bell.
Delta Gin mm -hmm. gave me a, gave us gave me a tour of the gin factory, and uh, no, it's not alcohol, it's cotton. <laughs> and they signed the bat, so now we've got two signatures on the bat. So, thank you very much. I yes, appreciate sir. you giving me a tour. Yeah. So that was absolutely amazing. These people are so awesome, and uh, they gave me a tour of their cotton gin facility, how they bring the bale cotton in, how they take the cotton out of the bale, how uh, they go through the process to get all the seeds out, and then how uh, they take the cotton and put it in the bales and then they sell it. Amazing, an amazing place. Some of the bales, they said it doesn't matter what color of wrapper, blue, yellow, pink, it's just wrapper around the bale of cotton. Oh. They said they make about a thousand bales a day, 500 a shift in 24 hours. And right now they're running full time because this is harvest season for the cotton that they're getting all the cotton bales from. And uh, they're harvesting it, putting it into bales, and then they turn it over and get ready to plant again in the spring but this is the harvest season I am so thankful that they gave me a tour of that plant but this is what the cotton field looks like and after it gets harvested this is what it looks like right here This road in Mississippi is straight and flat.
Jim Henson is right here in, in Mississippi, Washington County. Wow, and they have like a little exhibit here. Kermit the Frog was born by Jim Henson. An exhibit of Jim Henson's Delta Boyhood. Oh my goodness. I gotta see this. All right, today's a really exciting day. As you all know, I'm taking back roads and uh, I, I just ran across the home of Jim Henson, who invented the Muppets. And I'm gonna go in and check it out. Their place of Kermit the Frog. Oh, how are you? Good. I'm just passing through and I thought, I'm gonna stop here. So, was Jim Henson born here? Yeah. It actually, he was born in Greenville at King's Daughters Hospital. His father was an agronomist at the USDA Research Center. Okay. Which is just north of here. It kind of um, butts up to Leland and the creek follows it out there. Yeah. And he lived here until they were 12 years, until he was 12 years old. Um, his father got a job with the University of Maryland. Okay. And they moved up there. Um, but they lived, his, here's a picture of his childhood home. It's no longer wow. out there. And it, it's the building his father worked in. It's no longer out there either. But uh, his grandmother, Deer, lived with them. Everyone called her Deer, and she liked to sew and um, paint. And she, that we think that's where he got a lot of his creativity from. Okay. Wow. He did have an older brother, Paul, that died in a car accident when he was a teenager. Um, but they, when he, they moved up to the University of Maryland, and that's where he ended up. He went to, to college there and got his degree there. He got a degree in home economics. But he spent his boyhood years here. He went to the elementary school that is still here. It's right across the creek. Okay. There's a, it has a, well, it's changed a little bit, but here's a picture of it. But it's still over there. And wow. It's pretty amazing. Without him, there would be no Muppets. Right. How did he ever get into the Muppets, do you know? Do you know how they, he started that, or no? He just, he was just really creative and um, liked um, marionettes. He got, the, like the word Muppet, it comes from marionette and puppets okay and he took those two words and made muppets and so so jim henson actually made that so did he do in. did he do uh, sesame street too he did jim well, henson i mean he uh, sesame street is like the children's television workshop yeah you know but i believe i am going over the mississippi river Yes, I am. This is the border between Mississippi and Arkansas is on that side. So, right now I'm going to go over the Mississippi River. Mississippi River there.
these back roads are Arkansas are great beautiful low traffic nicely maintained just really nice to be on all this wood going to the pulp mills right here they're gonna make cardboard out of it look at there there's Duck Commander I'm at Duck Commander, home of Duck Dynasty. They have ducks in their parking lot, right there. And uh, the road here, as I was going by Monroe, and I decided I might as well get some video of uh, Duck Dynasty building, which I've seen on TV many, many, many times. And, uh, all right, there's the bike, and it's inside the parking lot of Duck Dynasty's Duck Commander right there. It was a truly epic day today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below. And I'll catch you on the next video.